each other at the airport. When Cora was there, it was Cora this woman was liaising with, talking to, um, advising. And don't forget, she, she, she married Oyibo. She married two Caucasians. Okay? Two. So all the things, all the tricks she was using, she has already invaded Cora's ears with all the tricks you will use to the and immediately Cora lost um you know Cora divorced JD who is now coming to want to leech onto JD knowing that any this August 2024 is going to be a break of it because you see the house she's living in, in Minnesota that one is caught on that though the husband went to court to request an amendment to his probation condition that look i need to live in my house you understand because according to to, to his probation condition he is not supposed to be near uh, freda but the man went after after freda confessed that after one year that she confessed that uh, she lied against her husband so the court granted the man to 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 be in his own home so they live together under the same roof, but they live se separate lives. It is all in the court's documents. The court have already told them it's four hours each parental time with the children. Okay? So, now, <laughs> this was the reason why, you know, she, want, she wanted to convince people that look at me, I'm happily married, da, 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 da. but at the end of the day, she started <laughs> removing the pictures. <laughs> Of her and, uh, and Jeremy from the fake page, you know the hacker page she was using the one one <laughs> abracadabra one point seven million page. You see the the thing is, it is JD. It is JD that you guys are supporting. It is JD that you guys see that oh he was a, you know he, he doesn't deserve to lose his children. He, he, you know we saw what happened to him in twenty twenty two and that is what drafted a lot of you to want to support him but you see one thing you need to do if you really care about jd is to stop enabling jd to say sabotage himself if you genuinely love somebody or care about somebody you tell them the truth instead of watching and enabling them to continue to self-sabotage look at the picture i show you now Imagine you you complain about one thing, but your behavior, your actions is totally different from what you are saying verbally. That is what they call incongruence. In psychology, they call it incongruence. When your actions, your behavior, your nonverbal behavior is so different from what you are saying. That is incongruence there. When you care about somebody, you will come out and speak out. You will. After you've done it in private, and then it's from one controversy to the other, from one controversy. I, I, do you know how I feel when I know that, hold on, there's no case in court that JD want to take the children away from Cora. To my knowledge, I, I even went to the court website. I don't see any hearing. I don't because the one that was there has been has been disposed because judge judge uh, not court doesn't have jurisdiction to sit on that matter, and that is what happened in January 2023. So when people were putting my name left and right, oh that woman want to take away the children from Cora. I said to myself, oh don't know, something else may be going on that I don't uh, that I don't know. So what did I do? I said collating, collating, collating. Then I got, you know, two professionals involved to be collating. We have specific uh, 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 pages that they have to go at least twice a week, you know, to see and collate, do everything that we normally do when we are doing collation of evidence and catalog it. Because I want to know exactly what is going on. And when you are like that, the best thing is to stand back and observe. The truth always comes out. Now, I know that 
what I was focused on, which is CPS versus JD, is totally different from the <laughs> Kony Kony that somebody has been spreading <laughs> that, oh, it is JD versus KO. Whoever does that? Eh? You see, my spirit will never forgive that person. Because that person can see how people, bloggers, were putting my name out there that I was fighting to, to, to take the children away from Cora. But the person never speak out and say, hold on a minute, there's nothing in court that this woman is involved with that even come close to that. The evidence gathered was to win a case for JD against the CPS. And in in due, in due course, I'm going to show you how you can win certain allegation. This allegation come from social media. You have to go back to social media and see where this allegation is derived from and what did you do about it. So, I'm just saying this to you, that sometimes, guys, it applies to all of you, regardless of who you are supporting. Sometimes, when people are saying this about you, saying that about you, sometimes you have to stand back and be patient. The truth always comes out when you're a patient person. You have to remain focused. But when you look at what JD is doing to himself, how many more people, this is 2024, how many more bloggers, how many more followers are you going to blame for the self-sabotaging tendencies is portraying again and again and again. How many bloggers? Some people are saying, oh, they are betraying him. No, stop. Start studying. How many things do you think JD needs to go through before he learn? Now he's seeing red flags about this same Freda, but it's the same Freda that is going around to destroy him to different bloggers that he's still fraternizing with. He still go there and say, hello, Freda, after, he, he, you know, someone broke up with him. He went there. There's a screen, screen, screen evidence they sent to me. He went there and said, hello, Freda, to the fake page. You know, the 1.7 million fake page. You know, hello, Freda. And then be, be, within 24 hours, Freda started slagging uh, Soma. Mm -hmm. And some of, some of JD's supporter. <laughs> you know, foolishly, too, they went to some aspect, they said bullying that, that young lady. That's further for you. Okay? That's how she, she goes around trying to put JD more nonsense, more controversies. You know, when you isolate your targets, the person you want to bring down, some people, they isolate, everybody wants to help them. They isolate them. And then, boom, they go in. They go in. Before you know it, okay, look at what is happening now. He has to pay. Don't let anybody fool you. You will pay nothing less than $100,000. By the time this this latest uh, Wahala stop. And I see some people putting $25, $25, he needs at least 100,000. People like uh, the one from Pennsylvania, so we are afraid they should put they should put 50-50k on in that coffee so that at least <laughs> eh? both of them are poor for worse than church rats. Uh, please forgive me, uh, rats. Those rats are just minding their own business. No be so. The point is. Truth always prevail, but you have to be patient. You have to be patient. JD knowingly or unknowingly puts himself in trouble. And he's not going to run. Why? And where is Janice Ting? His mother. Because later on now, you'll be, you'll be wanting to blame people, blame followers, blaming bloggers. No, 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 no. It's 2024. Start taking responsibility. Didn't I do video? Leave this woman alone. Please, guys, if JD invites you to was off for him, no, say no. Remember, guys, I did a lot of video because I knew something terrible is happening behind the scene. With all the evidences 
worried, worried, concerned people who genuinely care for JD. They were sending me screenshot evidence left and right. JD needs to stop. Because if he didn't stop, he's going to end up being becoming the third, third Caucasian husband. Because this one has been ordered by the judge to go and be looking for property. To go and be looking for a place that he was, he, she will be say, saying. And to go and apply for benefits. Yes, it's in the court paper. So, this one now, the, this, the, this JD, if she's, if he's not careful, then <laughs> it's gonna be the third, the third Caucasian. Three children. And I know what JD told me, oh. <laughs> eh? Free Coco. You are not compatible. And I quote, compatible. You got three kids. They are young. And he got two. It will be too much for him, according to him. Let the man breathe. Let him focus on his donation. Let him focus on his children. Let him focus on what he's doing now. Later on, JD will be telling you, oh, it's voodoo. Oh, I've been voodoo nice. Voodoo nice, you will. <laughs> when you see what you know, run. You continue self sabotaging, self sabotaging. Eh, followers will continue cleaning, Abby. Eh? Yeah. Where is Janice doing? <laughs> Janice doing wake up. Oh. Go and warn JD now. Before it's too late. And that is if it's not too late. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. Don't, I repeat, don't fight because of it. Start studying the case. And take care of your health. If something bad happens to you, God forbid. None of these people will be there for you. They will even, <laughs> they will even be spreading lies against you behind this half truth against you. <laughs> behind the scene. But maintain your own honesty. Maintain and keep all evidence. Make sure it's electronic evidence. And be patient. Mwah. I love you guys. Mwah. Have a wonderful weekend, okay? And take care of your health. Take your vitamins and listen to your doctor, okay? Mwah. Stay blessed.